How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. We also got to put in the disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor and this isn't financial advice. So just know when you do invest, you're doing it at your own risk. So today we're going to be talking about SNDL Sundial Growers. But before we get started, I have to go over an agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below in the description. But if you are a shareholder or you're considering to take a position, I suggest you watch the entire video. So the first thing we're going to be going over is an article that came out today for the positive catalyst ahead for SNDL Sundial Growers. We know they've made a ton of changes and it's part of the reasons why they have a ton of potential and we're going to be going over that and of course I'll be giving my review and analysis as we move through the article. The next thing we're going to be doing a technical analysis, taking a look at the overall price action. We're going to be looking at areas of support if it does decide to pull back. And we also want to know, is it still looking bullish even though it was down on the day? Many of you have questions or you're considering to get into positions. So I want to make sure that you're prepared. As far as Fintel, it will not be in this video. I want to make sure what I give you guys is fully up to date. So I'll be giving you guys another update date on the weekend and then at the end I'll be giving you guys my final thoughts so let's get into it so we're gonna take a look at this recent article that came out today for SNDL Sundial Growers let's get into it so why Sundial stock has many positive upside catalysts ahead SNDL is a favorite penny stock in play the cannabis firm posted first quarter results that suggest potential upside on the way SNDL stock could continue a sustained uptrend as a result conversely investors may avoid this company due to a sudden share spike to an unsustainable three dollars and 96 cent high in February that was because of the Wall Street bets induced short trading madness at the beginning of the year now that the short flow is 13.8 percent Sundial's prospects depend on its fundamentals first quarter to lift SNDL stock Sundial posted positive EBITDA despite a 29 percent decline in revenue it earned 1.7 million from operations compared to a 32.7 million loss in the prior quarter it its net loss of 134.4 million is due to a non-cash charge. This stemmed from the accounting valuation of derivative warrants. The positive adjusted EBITDA of 3.3 million is a first in Sundial history. And we talked about this on the channel and it's definitely something to take into consideration and does show some significance here. And this is why I was saying we want to see as more earning reports come out, this being consistent and also getting better. Let's continue. Continue. In its press release, Chief Executive Officer Zach George highlighted Sundal's strong financial position of $1.08 billion. It has a unique cultivation facility too. The company is building a platform that targets attractive capital deployment opportunities, including improving its cultivation outcomes. Furthermore, Sundal reset its business to face the ongoing decline in Canadian cannabis flower pricing. It limited the offering of discount products that will put an end to eroding margins. Opportunity. Sundal is focusing on the premium inhalable market. This should lead to improving quarterly results in the second half of 2021. More importantly, by avoiding the mainstream or discount market, the company will carve a MOAT in a select market. It will tailor to customer needs. This will lead to higher repeat customer business, sustainable margins, and profitability. So just to interject very quickly here, this is part of the reasons why I see the potential in Sundial. They realized, hey, as far as for the overall market in general and what's going down in Canada, it's going to be very difficult to be a leader. So recognizing this, they niche down into getting into the inhalable market, which I think is a very smart move. Since the beginning of this week, SNDL stock reached a blistering height it hasn't seen in several months, raising almost 100% over the past 10 days. Speculators who traded the stock a few months before that for a quick gain are largely gone. In a five-year discounted cash flow growth exit model, assume a perpetuity growth rate of around 7%, 
This model uses the perpetuity growth formula, also known as the Gordon growth, to calculate terminal value after five years. The forecast leaves room for Sundial to post revenue unchanged from last year. From there, it must grow in the 15 to 55% from 2022 to 2025. That is achievable as long as it keeps posting positive EBITDA in the future quarters. And that's what I was saying previously. We want to see that consistency on their earnings reports. On its conference call, CEO George said it would give investors more details on its Inner Spirit Holdings and Spirit Leaf Retail Cannabis Network acquisitions. For now, investors may assume the acquisition will lead to cost rationalization and organic revenue growth. Inner Spirit created a differentiated franchise-based retail network. It uses data-driven consumer insights to help it derive sound business decisions. The combined firm should open up new markets, raising the revenue capital. Growth by acquisition. Sundow will lower the cost structure of Spirit Leaf. It will leverage its partnerships to seek growth opportunities. The CEO mentioned on the call that peers are effectively moving away from cultivation. And since he recognizes this is a commodity business, Sundow needs to become a low cost structured business. Additionally, inhalable products are central to the premium segment. Sundow will have small budget scale facilities that limit costs. As it expands, it cannot allow cultivation costs to grow faster than revenue. Wall Street is not convinced that Sundial has a sustainable business. Based on three analysts who offer price targets, a 12-month target is $0.85. Cents. Sundial is worthwhile speculation for cannabis investors. The penny stock is often the most actively traded stock by share count. The strong liquidity on the markets will give investors plenty of trading opportunities. Investors should treat the stock as a rental instead of a buy and hold. The company still needs this year at the very least to post meaningful profits. Its positive EBITDA is a good start, but it will need more than that. Accelerating revenue and falling costs will win back the serious long-term investors. So to go over this quickly and what my thoughts were just going through that article very quickly, I do have the same sentiment. We need to see consistency and improvement with the earnings reports. We saw the improved EBITDA, definitely a step in the right direction. They have been making acquisitions and they've noticed that, hey, they need to niche down and it's going to work better for them in the long term. But of course, it's best to make sure that you have a patient approach when going into this particular play. But you also got to know what your goal is, whether you're going to be investing for the long term or you're just looking for a short term opportunity. So we're going to be doing a technical analysis for SNDL Sundial Growers. Let's see how it performed on the day. So it ended up closing at $1.09, being down 15.50% on the day. On the low, it tested $1.09, and then on the high, testing $1.38. So we're using the same chart that we're using yesterday, but I want to show you guys that, hey, things are still looking fairly bullish for SNDL. As you can see here, where we closed at right around $1.09, this is sitting on a support level here. If we go even further back, just a little bit, you can see it's right around $1.08 as well, and that's why when we tested $1.09, I wasn't too surprised to see that it was able to hold up. Even if we take a look at our indicators down below, it is still looking bullish. It is well above the 200-day to 21-day EMA, and it's sitting right on that 100-day. Do keep in mind of the fact that SNDL is up almost 40% in the past month. 40% in the past month. So just kind of digest that here. So this healthy pullback here is of no concern whatsoever. What I am going to be looking forward to seeing SNDL is actually hold up this $1 level. That is something I want to see going into next week. And if we're able to continue to hold up this area, especially right here around this dollar nine, then I could definitely see us going back to have a retest. So that's what I wanted to update you guys on. So for my final thoughts for SNDL Sundial Growers, I feel like today Today, it just got a healthy pullback. Keep in mind of the fact, this is a stock that is up 40% on the month. You can't just expect it to keep running all the way up. But when it does pull back, these are opportunities that you can look to add to your position if you do believe in the long-term prospects. If you're trading off momentum and you're going off of swings, you already know that you need to be patient and you need to look out for those key levels. And we've talked about it many times 
on this channel. So anyone who's in this play, one thing I wanna emphasize to you, make sure that you have a game plan. Know what you're buying this stock for and for what purpose. This is going to be key so you don't end up bag holding or feeling like you're missing out on opportunities because you're stuck in a particular stock. This is very key to know. Also, we do know that this is a penny stock at the end of the day. So knowing that it's a penny stock, it's gonna be coming with a lot of volatility. Now, talking about SNDL, it's definitely setting itself up very well. We've seen improvements in regards to their overall EBITDA, and we want to see that consistency with future earnings reports. We also know that they decided, hey, we're going to be niching down. We're going to be focusing on what we're good at and acquiring the right companies to help grow Sundial Growers for the long term. This is a great strategy, and now we just wanna see if this ends up actually being successful for them. So taking all of this into consideration, I hope you guys are aware and you know what you hold and you know the positions and the risk that are actually associated with it. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll be talking real soon.